Okay, so first question is, how much did you pay? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a BBL q and A. I'll be answering all the questions that you guys have been wanting to know. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions regarding the BBL. So I'm going to be answering those questions today. If you guys are new to this channel, hi, my name is Alondra. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Isn't my hair so cute? Look, I tried something different today. I have a little braid here, a little bun right here with some curls. Okay, so first question is, how much did you pay? Let me go look at my emails. Okay, so I got the BBL, the body type, and I also got the Morpheus 8. So it's $500 deposit plus $9,200, so that's $9,000. 700 by the way i had told someone that i paid like 11,000. i think i was just including the stay with the stay it was a little bit over eleven thousand dollars. okay so before continuing on with today's video i would like to thank hellofresh for sponsoring today's video today on the menu we have some crispy buffalo spiced chicken look how good this looks my mouth is literally already watering. So without further ado, let's get into the cooking. Need dinner ready like now? Look for quick and easy recipes on the HelloFresh menu, including fast and fresh options ready in just 15 minutes or less. HelloFresh Market has new snacks, meals, and more to add to your weekly order. HelloFresh is more convenient than grocery shopping, but did you know it's cheaper too? I personally like cooking HelloFresh on busy weeknights because it does save me time. So just like that we are all done with our delicious meal look how good this looks i think i've tried this but the non-spicy version this is a spicy version so let's go ahead and give it a taste test mm. so good i think this is probably one of the best recipes i have ever tried so if you guys try anything try this spicy crispy chicken it's so good Make sure to go to HelloFresh.com and use code ALANDRA16 to get 16 free meals plus free shipping. Once again, that is HelloFresh.com. Use code ALANDRA16. So without further ado, let's continue on with this video. Question is, what accessories did you use to recover from your BBL? So what I brought with me to Mexico was this little purple foam thing. You use it to use the restroom, so you just put pressure on your thighs instead of your butt. I used it to like pee and use it. By the way, I'm going to make a list of all the BBO necessities that you need from Amazon and I'll put my Amazon storefront in my description. Restroom, that came in handy. There's also these, uh, you call it like funnel cups to pee. So you could pee like standing up. That's a must. Another must are adult diapers because you're gonna be draining from here. I was draining like where my butt crack was at. So you're gonna leak and sometimes it leaks inside the diaper instead of on your clothes. Like you're still gonna get leakage on your clothes but you'll feel a little bit more dry you will also need compression socks by baby wipes and i did buy scar cream but i don't think i'm allowed to put it on yet i had read the aftercare instructions from my surgeon and i said to wait three months before i used any scar crema or silicone tape so make sure to buy plenty of pjs or a bunch of loose clothes that you don't mind staining try to go some sizes up like if you're small get a large because you're going to be super swollen after the video and you do not want to squish your butt you want to be dressed in loose clothing and also another thing to know before your bbo you're not allowed to wear tight clothes for six to eight weeks so i can't wear any jeans yet or any like super tight fitting clothes right now i've been living in like super loose pants these are like parachute pants literally a must another question i got was who was my surgeon and his name is dr luciano alonso i personally liked everything his staff was super nice i literally have no complaints he was super nice super understanding super caring but of course also do your own research don't rely on like just my answers but i literally have no complaints about them and no i didn't get a discount to mention them um i paid full price and he is located in Tijuana. Another question was, why did you have to stay in the hospital for a week? I don't think I had to, I just wanted to so I wouldn't keep going back and forth because I do live like six hours away from Tijuana. And right after surgery, um, you're left with little plastic things that help you drain. Get removed seven to 10 days after. And they also remove these stitches. 
so I didn't want to be going back and forth while I was recovering. I did end up staying at the surgery place suite. It was super nice. I want to mention that if you guys don't get the body type or Morpheus 8, it will be a lot cheaper. Um, I have the price right here. It's $5,500 for just the Lipo 360 BBL. And then the Morpheus 8 was $700. So I got Morpheus 8 on my stomach. Not to mention, I do need two other sessions. So that is not surgery. It's just micro needling done on the stomach um, to tighten up the skin. And y'all... My stomach looks way tighter. What would you rate your doctor and staff? I would definitely rate them a 10. 10 out of 10. They were all super nice. Oh, and another thing to know about getting a, a BBO. I don't know if it's just me, but every time I would get surgery, I would get depressed after. I think because I couldn't go out. I couldn't do certain things. You're just like in Serrala in the house. I was doing so bad mentally. Thank God I'm doing a lot better now. I am taking something natural for anxiety, depression, and ADHD. If you guys want me to talk about it. Please let me know in the comments down below. I'll definitely share with you guys what I've been doing. Naturally help the depression and all those things. Like it's a miracle. I feel way better. If you guys want to see the actors, go to my Instagram. I have a bikini picture. You know what? Um, what I wanted to change is still kind of there, but it's way less visible now. Oh, and if you guys want to know the prices on the suite, if you guys want to stay at the surgery place, I think it was $350 a night for the suite. I know they have cheaper rooms that are a little bit... So the first few days, I did stay in the suite. Then I went to a recovery home. And then when I came back for the blood transfusion, I did stay in a smaller room. And it was still nice and it was cheaper. When asked for my measurements before your BBO, like weight and height. So before the BBO, I was 119. When I was recovering, I think it was all like fluid weight, like water weight. I weighed 126 and now I'm back at 119. So I'm the same weight. Just that my stomach looks a lot smaller. <laughs> Next question, how do you poop? I'm getting a BBON just because of the poop part. I'm contemplating not getting it. So what the first, you're going to have to poop with your faja on. Okay, it's super uncomfortable. Like super uncomfortable. Like I almost felt like I couldn't poop because I felt like I wasn't supposed to. It kind of feels like you're fully dressed. It feels so weird. Next question is, do they take care credit? To be honest, I don't know. I did pay cash. But I know that most surgery places do take care credit, at least in the US. I don't know about Mexico, but you guys should definitely ask. Next question is, if you have another baby in the future, do you think you'll get more surgery? So right now, I do not plan on getting any more surgeries. I'm like so over it and I probably don't want to have another kid until I'm in my 30s and I feel like at the time I'm in my 30s I probably won't want to get any more surgeries and I also wanted to share my diet with you guys well not diet but basically the meals I've been eating so I eat a lot of chicken rice and vegetables or sometimes I'll just have like straight up meat with avocados and in the mornings I have eggs with avocados next question is I've never been to Mexico what's a safe route to get to the clinic so so I got an all-inclusive package meaning that you do get a driver so they pick you up from they could pick you up from the border or they could pick you up at the San Diego I was gonna say hotel. They can also pick you up at the San Diego airport. So from there, they pick you up. You guys cross the border. They usually have a medical pass. So can you show us on camera your updated look of your BBL? So I did want to show you guys um, what my BBL look like without the faja. I'll show you guys in a little bit what it looks like with a dress on. Didn't you add baser to your lipo? I'm not sure what that is, but I did get body tight, and that was to tighten my skin, I believe. And that was amazing. Do you recommend the body type? Yes, 100%. I don't know if it was the body type and like, I don't know if it was the mixture of the body type and the Morpheus 8, but that combination tightened up my skin so much. So right now it's still healing, so I'm kind of scared to show you guys. People be talking shit, but maybe I'll show you guys what my stomach looks like. I'll show you guys um, how loose my skin was from pregnancy, and I'll, I'll show you guys how tight it looks like right now. And I feel like it already looks so good. And keep in mind that I'm still getting two more Morpheus 8 treatments. Next question is, do you have to wait to have six? Um, yes, you do. I'm already past my six weeks, and I have not. I'm scared. I'm so scared that it's gonna hurt. So I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. I think by like the third week, you're able to as long as you're careful. And you also need to figure out a position that's going to put pressure on your booty. But yeah, just go, go.
Google the positions, but I'm still waiting on it. I'm scared. Next question is, did you go to the same doctor for your first procedure? So no, for the second BBL, I went to a completely different surgeon. Next question is, does the 500 deposit go towards the total? Yes, I believe so. All right guys, so I did put a dress on without the faja so you guys can see an updated look on it. So this is what I look like from the front. This is the right side, back view. I feel like I do look less swollen now. Hi, good morning, my love. You're up from your nap. Mm, mama, baby. Uh, you feel happy, you feel rested? Oh, you're in a good mood. You're in a good mood, Kiki? Oh my God, you woke up with curly lashes. Oh, you bitch! Oh, you bitch! Mmm. Tell Daddy we play with water balloons. Water Remember? Balloons. We're gonna we're gonna go play again, okay? Yeah. When I finish filming, okay, Papa? Mwah. Next question is: Can you also tell us about the stomach process? Also, yes. So let me look up what body tight is so I can explain to you guys. So the difference between just lipo and body tight is that body tight uses radio frequency energy to produce heat. And melt fat. It also uses energy to tighten the skin. Damn, my stomach's growing. And then the Morpheus, the Morpheus A. The Morpheus A is just micro needling, so it just resurfaces your skin. It's also skin tightening. Okay, so I did end up changing my clothes so I could show you guys my stomach. But please keep in mind that I'm still healing, so I'm still bruised. I still have like faha marks, and my stomach still looks a little like purple. So it's still healing. Keep that in mind. But just to show you guys a comparison. But just to show you guys a comparison, so I'll show you guys a video of my stomach before the second surgery, and then I'll show you guys my belly now. So this is what my belly looks like now when I do this. It doesn't like really look loose anymore. And it just looks tiny, it looks so tight and toned. And like I said, please don't keep in mind that it's still healing. Okay, so I'm gonna go put my faja back on. Last thing I wanted to talk about um, was faja. I need a stage one and a stage two faja. The stage two faja is the one with higher compression. Um, I think that one you wear after the first month and I still haven't been able to get into my stage two faja and it was also custom. I ended up ordering another one, another custom one and I just um, changed the measurements so it could be a little looser because I tried wearing it. I like forced myself into it and I, I literally felt like I couldn't breathe. It was like burning my skin. But I think the stage two faja is supposed to feel like that. I think it's supposed to feel uncomfortable because it's super high compression that will also need to be in the cost of your bbo because stage two fajas are not cheap they're like over 200 dollars but yeah guys that was it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time bye